Welcome! In this video we are going to go over a common workflow when uh, doing a level design. And the main, main point of this video is uh, when and how you should be using uh, geometry tools that you can find in modes panel. And we are using the content examples from Epic. You can get this uh, from uh, your Epic's launcher in a learn tab. And we are in a level design workflow. Now I'm going to also throw around some uh, tips for <laughs> from, for using Unreal. And the uh, first one is that uh, you can set up uh, bookmarks. And this project has uh, five bookmarks that we can move around with. And if I use this one that's on number five, it's going to take me to an overview of this project. And the uh, whole point of this project is to show you the different phases when uh, building levels. So in the first phase, you will do a prototyping. Uh, so to get uh, the basic level structure and make it playable, play test it and see if uh, the layout works for you. And uh, usually that is done either with uh, modular, modular uh, static meshes or with geometry um, tools. I'm maybe going to call them from time to time brushes, but I'm thinking about uh, geometry tools. They used to be called BSP brushes. That's kind of the reason why I'm going to use brush from time to time. And uh, if you want to build them with static meshes, you will have to have some kind of um, modular meshes. Um, for instance, uh, in started content, there is uh, in this architecture fol folder, you can find few just a few of them. So you have a floor mesh, uh, you have wall meshes, wall meshes with a doorway or a window. And if you're doing this way, you will have to have uh, lots of uh, different meshes. And yeah, they if you build them with those meshes, you can kind of even leave them in a level because they're optimal for... Um, well, for playing the game. If, it, if the mesh works, you can leave it there. But when it comes to geometry brushes, you have to you have to replace them with uh, static meshes at the end. And uh, if you're kind of wondering, I have this starting content in uh, Content Examples project, and if you wonder how, it, how you should uh, get starting content in uh, some project that you didn't start from the scratch and uh, selected the... Um, Starting content, you can add it from uh, just click add new and go add feature content and you can add started content and there's actually a mobile starter content if you need for a mobile game and the regular one. So I added that. Uh, let's actually play this level. Um, I'm also going to press G because I already, um, I should be seeing something when I press G. Yeah. Okay. So you can hide the uh, things in viewport, uh, editor widgets and uh, things like that and make the game, well, your viewport uh, will look like you are playing the game. I, I uh, was hiding everything before, but for now I want to show it so I don't forget later on. And if we hit play here, we are in uh, this first pass, uh, which uh, was built only with uh, geometry tools. And if we bump into the walls, I'm just holding forward, but I cannot go through them. They obviously have collisions. I mean, we would have already fallen through the floor, but you can see these materials and, um, and the geometry is pretty simple. The point is to just build something and play it, test it. And uh, later on, you would replace everything. Well, depending how it's being done, maybe few people are working on project, but even if you're kind of lone wolf, uh, it's kind of the good idea to build your levels simple first, see if they work, then, uh, then you go and make them pretty. So in this phase, uh, all the geometry brushes were um, removed with static meshes. But these assets are not uh, the finalized versions. I mean, this is something that's uh, mid-production, but it was replaced. I mean, the geometry brushes were replaced with all of this. And everything looks kind of okay. We can also pop out uh, of um, our pawn. So I've pressed uh, F8 and that made me 
into a floating camera here or a drone so we can move around this way but let's actually pop in and go to the next phase and this is the third phase where um, we have better lighting and materials and you can see here everything already looks pretty nice but it's still not yet there um, the visual effects I mean this flame it's yeah it's not not finished yet and uh, if we go to the last one we have uh, some audio and uh, actually don't have uh, headphones so I cannot hear it I set it on headphones but I'm not using them but you can hear that in uh, the game and you can see the reflections are really sexy and everything looks really nice but you started with just geometry brushes that's the whole point of this video start simple prototype and make it look awesome guys look at just look at this how it's awesome. Uh, by the way, um, you can find even more detailed version of this map in... Um, I think it's called Sun Temple in uh, content examples. So you can really see how that works when it's done completely. And this map is meant to be uh, for mobile. So if you want to learn how to make really awesome looking <laughs> levels for mobile this is a good start and as you can see uh, i don't know we probably know what this is this is um actually i'm hitting this god ray here but it, those are reflection actors as you can see this level because lots of materials are really re reflective it has whole bunch of uh, reflection captures to make everything look pretty we have sound here and uh, better particle effects so this is a really polished version these are fake gold rays in the um, newer version of the engine I think by the time that, that this was being made uh, that wasn't around uh, that volumetric fog stuff you can cast uh, really really nice god rays with volumetric fog if you turn it on but that won't work for mobile I think and probably doesn't work and like there are more god rays so if you need a god ray for mobile you can uh, go to this project and just see how it's made and if we go to the previous map, by the way, I'm um, holding right click and using WSD and also using a scroll wheel. If I scroll backwards, I move really slow. If I scroll forward, I move really fast. So kind of throwing that around. I, I don't know. Many people do not know about that trick about uh, using a scroll wheel. As you can see here, we only have uh, just one reflection capture, some basic lights. So this phase here, it's better lighting, but not yet there, I would say. But it also looks pretty nice. And we do not have those god rays here. And uh, if we go to the previous one, this one is even more bare bones. Uh, maybe it's even, um, I don't know if it's even re has rebuilt lights. I mean, here it, the lights are built for the whole map because all of these passes are in one map. But yeah, so no pretty reflections. The reflections are super basic. We have uh, this reflection capture here that's really big and it's reflecting everything pretty not pretty but very very, very poorly to say the least uh, reflections are not accurate and if you go to the start you can see here um, you only have few lights just to I would I would call this a work light so you throw it in just so you can see how the space looks that's the whole point of that, that light here and uh, we don't have any reflection actors just few lights and nothing else few lights and geometry brushes so you should start there 
Uh, you can use some bit fancier materials. I mean, if I drop this thing here, it's going to have uh, just a super basic uh, world grid material. But you can either make some materials or you can uh, get the materials from uh, this example, for instance. So you can go on the materials that you want to bring in to your project, select them, those are these materials, go right click and um, asset action and go um, migrate and migrate, migrate to the project that you want to work in. <clears throat> that way when you bring some mesh, if I let's say select this blue one and bring the mesh, damn it's blue. <laughs> If I select the yellow one and bring the box, uh, I get the white one. What? <laughs> I know what's going on there. I selected the yellow one. Okay, now it's yellow. I don't know. Maybe I had this one selected. Who knows? But it works that way. You can also later on replace the materials, but that's... Uh, Topic for uh, another video. Uh, this video was just an overview. I didn't want to build anything or show you anything how you should be doing it. But this was an overview how you should use geometry brushes and uh, typical workflow so you can get that. Uh, that you do not use geometry brushes to make anything complex. You use your 3D modeling software for that. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.